Hi guys, we're back. So we're reading chapter five, Coco the Crow. Hey, wait, I called out, come back. But the bird was too fast. But the bird was too fast. I chased it through the forest as fast as I could. At last, the bird landed on a tree branch and Zoinks, Clucks, Comet, and I finally caught up with, to it. The birds peered down at us from far up, up in the tree and, and said, why are you following me? Um, hi, my name is Bo. What's your name? I asked. Coco the, Coco the bird replied of factly, the matter of factly. I've never seen you around the farm before, I said. Living on a farm full of, of all kinds of animals, I've seen my share of birds come by the robins, blue jays, and some of the nicest birds you'll ever meet. Lots of pigeons like to come to the farm too, but I had definitely never seen a bird like Coco before. She had jet black feathers all over her body. I took, I looked over at my friends to see if they recognized the black bird, but none of them did. Well, I'm a crow and I don't live on a farm, Coco responded before looking away. Then she ruffled her feathers in a way that reminded me of King and Diva. I looked hard at her black glossy feathers. I'm Coco. Have you been coming to the pumpkin patch a lot lately? Lately, I've asked, choosing my words carefully. Right away, Coco puffed up her chest. I haven't got the slightest idea what you're asking, she, she called. But just then a single black feather drifted down from Coco's perch and landed on the ground at my feet. I didn't want Coco to fly away, so I said, stay quiet while all my doggy senses were on high alert. If they were going to get this bird to talk, I knew we had to get to know her first. So I grabbed my friends for a game of time huddle. We need a plan B fast. And, and that's when Zoink whispered the most perfect question. What about finishing the game of hide and go sheep? I jumped up and gave my pig pal a high five. No matter who you are, every animal likes to have fun. So I took a deep breath and then gave it a shot. Hey Coco, do you wanna play hide and go sheep with us in the pumpkin patch I asked? My friends and I all looked up and waited and waited some more until Coco finally nodded and led, out, led the way back to the pumpkin patch. Chapter six. Hide and go peep. Hey, clucks, you zoinks and comments, stay together. I said, breaking us into teams, I'll play with Coco. Then Coco and I decided to hide first, and I found the perfect hiding spot right away. In the center of the patch, there was one large pumpkin that was big enough to hide both of us. I crouched down the secret to hide and go sheep, was not to make a sound, not even a little peep, but I was quiet. I quickly realized that Coco didn't know the rules. She flapped her wings and kicked up the dirt and and littered seeds all over the place. I couldn't believe it. For such a small bird, she was an expert at making a mess. I tried to calm her down, but nothing worked, and only that, but Coco had also kept on talking, and oh boy, she can talk a lot. She had much to say. She wondered why not all animals can fly, and why pumpkin vines were long and twisty, and then she asked me if I knew why the birds sat in trees. I didn't know what to say, but I had to admit she was good. She had good questions that made me think too. And one of those things were for sure, Coco was one of a kind bird with a very loud voice. And my friends would find us quickly and just like that they did. Found you, Zoinks, oinked as he rounded the corner with the others. That was way too easy, Comet said. We could hear you from all the way over there. I came out of our hiding spot with my tail between my legs. This round wasn't our best. But hide and go sheep was no was one of my favorite games, and I knew it was never too late to turn things around. Maybe Coco would be better at seeking. After we counted down, Coco and I searched and searched. I sniffed for the ground for clues, while Coco followed, leaving a trail of pumpkin seeds behind us. I was sure my friends would have a hard time trying hiding. Trying to hide a horse wasn't going to be easy. But Zoinks, Common, and Clucks were much better hiders than I thought. We couldn't find them anywhere. And I could, I could tell Coco was getting tired. After all that nonstop talking, suddenly she su she was super quiet. So I finally let out a loud bark to let my friends know we had given up. After hearing my voice, my friends came out from behind a massive tree trunk. Lo losing is never easy, but I know my friends had won fair and square. That's when I looked over at Coco, but she was nowhere to be found. After all that chaos, she had disappeared without a trace. Okay, tomorrow we'll read chapter seven and chapter eight. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs>